My name is Jacqueline de Graff and I'm curator of the Drexel Collection at Drexel University. We're in the Rincliffe Gallery in the main building at Drexel and we're going to talk about the paintings of a Japanese artist named Tokoyoro Nishi. So we have about 14 paintings on display, all of which show the skill and manner in which Mr. Dishi paints. He has a unique form of painting using rich impasto or thick applications of paint, which we call it re-impressionists, as well as outlining some paintings in dark black lines, recalling the post-impressionists. So as we walk through the gallery, um, I'll show you these particular paintings and um, we can enjoy Mr. Nishi's work. The first painting by Mr. Nishi I'd like to talk about is a temple named Yakushi-ji. It's a temple that was built in the 7th century. You can see if you look closely that Mr. Nishi applies the paint in a thick manner called impasto. It's, it's a form of painting that he really admired from the Impressionist and continues with that in most of the paintings in, throughout his career. In the 1930s, Japan and the United States exchanged dolls due to friendship. And Mr. Nishi really wanted to paint the American dolls because it represented the friendship between the United States and Japan. So with these two dolls dressed in red, we see how he really captures sort of the energy of the costumes, the thick impasto, and you really get a keen, good sense about these American dolls. Mr. Nishi felt that just as it was important to capture the beauty of the temples in Japan, he also wanted to capture the beauty of the buildings in the Western world. This painting of the Cathedral of Notre Dame in Paris, uh, the strong lines, the vertical lines, the horizontal lines outlined in black, uh, recall the post-impressionist paintings. Kind of a combination of the, the uh, interplay of the horizontals and verticals um, are captured in his painting of the Cathedral of Notre Dame.